is Stephanie. Welcome to Designs by Stephanie. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you returning, welcome back. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as part of the DBS family. Just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future. I load videos every Wednesday and sometimes I load special videos on other days. Today I have for you another wig review. This is a ponytail. This is the Ultra Timeless Ponytail. It is the Ponytail Hottie. And I reviewed this ponytail. Well, I reviewed this ponytail. And I put 4A Kinky Pineapple Hottie on this one. And I updated that because there are two separate ponytails. And I don't know, I was looking at my shipping information and didn't realize I had two separate ponytails. So I do, so I updated that and I'm reviewing this one, which is the one that I have on now. So if you would like to see the unboxing of this unit, then stick around and stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm gonna review this. It's the Outre Timeless and it's the pony, pineapple ponytail in the stylus hottie and it's in the color four. We're gonna review this one. I have already gelled my hair down and then I used a little bit of that Gorilla Gel to gel it up and then I put a little bit of the edge control on it and I used the olive oil one. So, let's take this out of the pack. I'm sure it's packed pretty normal. So, it's in the net. It has how to wear instructions on the stock card. It also lists additional colors that it comes in and it tells you to clip behind the hairline. So, this is a different one where, as you see on the picture, it comes up. So, you're supposed to put the clip at your hairline so that it looks like it's falling. You can see how this is made so it's pulled up to the front and then it has the little ponytail part in the back. So it's kind of like you could do it like a, a fro hawk maybe, if you wanted to, instead of wearing it just as a ponytail. Let me show you what it looks like in the inside. So here you have the little hole. You do have one comb in the back and this comb looks like it's about one inch wide. It has the drawstring on it. The inside is just the basic cap that you have on their units usually. It's breathable and a little stretchy. It has some stretch to it. Not a whole lot, but some in case you have a puff. And then this front part has one of those clips. And I guess this is about, it's not an inch wide. Maybe it is three fourths of an inch to an inch wide. So you have that little cone. So. I am going to cut this little thing off and put it on, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna take my ponytail, just wrap it around, make it a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to loosen up the drawstring. I'm gonna place that on my head, and this is a four in color. I think I said that, but I'm not 100% certain that I did. I'm gonna unhook that little cone in the front. They said make sure you place that behind your hairline. So it depends on how far you want your that to come up. So I'm gonna put it about right there. I'm gonna tuck the back cone into the ponytail, my ponytail. And then I'm going to pull on this drawstring. Put that in there. Pull it tight. And I'm not sure how you're gonna be able to wrap this around. And I usually wrap this little ponytail cord around. Okay, this is kind of weird looking, but we'll get it to look like something. Okay, on this, the curls look actually a lot tighter than on here. This does look, it doesn't look bad, the curls, but they look like they're 
uh, title wound title wound curls on a stock card it's very big <laughs> really big okay I like it but something about the shape of it I'm trying to wrap my hand around if I want to cut it or not let me look at it from the back okay the back looks fine as I can see on the camera anyway and so does the sides something about this front part though Okay guys, that is it. I'm not going to do anything else to it. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm kind of feeling some kind of way about it. And I don't know if it's a good way that I'm feeling. It's a little weird for me. But I'm sure it's somebody out there that likes this. I can't say that it's bad. It's just, it just seems like it's so much on top of my head. So, <laughs> yeah, that looks like too much. It's too much. Too much for me if you like the review then thumbs up the video be sure to check this little eye up here i link you to my additional videos on my channel of wig reviews and yeah thank you guys for stopping by i hope that you enjoyed the video if you have a specific wig that you would like me to re review short because I really don't like long wigs. So if you have a short wig or a ponytail you would like me to review that I haven't already done on my channel, just uh, comment below and let me know. And I'll try to pick that up and do a review for you on it. And yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. And I look forward to seeing you all in my very next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>